Always be good. Yeah. I it was that <laughs> the pigeon just flew straight into that mirror. Is it dead? Oh, no. Did you hear it? He hit it. <laughs> I was once riding my bike on the way to school <sighs> and a pigeon flew into my head and cut me so bad on my head. Like the pigeon, the beak just hit I me there. So my head kind of splashed. Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, I yeah. went to the doctor. You had to get a tennis shot. You had to get a tennis shot. Oh, oh, because... No, they didn't. didn't. Oh, you push, can't you just push it gently, like, do the dog? Do you know she literally is <laughs> so strong? Really? Who? Nikki, the, the girl I'm showing about with. She takes over all the bed, but she's so strong. Is she? When you go to push her, <laughs> it's just like using this. She's just... See, move, honey. She takes all the duvet. She's so little, you, sh you could just put her like sideways on the pillow. Yeah. <laughs> so I just little. put her in between the wood and the mattress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I could have sleep slept in a little bit later. That's the way I bought you hot, didn't I? I did. Oh, because we were up a little bit early and then I went back to sleep, mm. didn't I? No, then I come in and was like, I've got a tummy ache. Yeah. Who's James Lowe? Nikki's. Oh. I can tell by the Kooks Radiohead. Is that Radiohead? Yeah, but also the size. Oh, yeah. It's like an eight year old. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they are, look. You, put, you probably could get them oh, past your knees. I reckon I could get into them. They're tiny, aren't yeah. they? Make a noon shot. What? Oh, yeah, I just tell you. Where she comes in, she goes, oh. And see John coming to the garden like a vision in this black thing with the red light. Okay. Hold on, it's like about one o'clock, half one in the morning. Oh, are you still up then? Yeah. We, so Josie going, yeah, I think I'll have an early night. Yeah, I know. We then, he then kind of goes away, comes back, then he kind of comes in and we're like, oh, you're all right, John, he's like this. It's to speak. Then gets in his shorts and his. Swimming shoes, yeah. a quarter to two, it comes out. Well, it's raining! And I just want to speak to you. Do you think he's kind of not. I don't know, and then maybe he's upset Disorientated. about something because they were asking, oh, are you okay? And he just like, didn't really kind of answer. I think, I think when he goes to. Um he goes to, he's gone to sleep. He's not good in the morning. I don't think he's good when he's just woken up. Right. Like he's sort of. Because when he dozed on the sofas yesterday, he just sat like that. Oh, no, when he woke up. My kids, while, yeah, my kids ride. do that. Like, my, my son's sort of like, don't talk to me. I, he's still, in he's still in between, yeah. Lockdown. Still in between, yes. Still, where were cups? Um, here. But 
the job saying it's quarter and then I no I'm not that one then. I think it's here actually. But then see it and then in the um, in the in the pool. Mm. Yeah. Ladies. And we did all this because me and Where are all the cups are Josie they? washed everything last night. Yeah, you won't get thanked for that though. No. All the stuff that's done behind the scenes, I just I remember that because last oh. last time I was so kind of like well, conscientious. No, when I did the no first one time, ever thanked well, when you. I did the first time, I did nothing. I was so young, I didn't bother. That's me. why Coolio cooks because everyone goes, "Oh, fabulous oh, meal! My oh, God. great! Yes, well that done!" Makes total sense. The fact that everybody's cleaned, laid up, made the salad, it's you whatever. don't get a word. It's like people be like, "You're right." In this like being mum. Yes. It's, this is what it's like. I tell you what it is. It's like having a barbecue at home where the mum prepares. Everything. everything buys the meat sources the thing makes the burgers the guy stands and flips the sausages and everyone goes oh, well thanks done so Brian. much for that really Lovely appreciate it. barbecue yeah. you've made the salads the salsas and you look like this in the kitchen having a fish and you look like this not bitter not at all I'm not bitter but you're right of course Is see that that's why he said even last night he goes I'm cooking tomorrow night I'm doing chicken and I thought it's like Makosi who cleaned did everything last night and stood there she? washing. Yeah, she did it all. Okay, that's good. Do you know what I mean though? You're right. I'm, like, do you know what I mean? Basically, I kind of filled a few pots, but Josie kind of washed it. Right, but we were here. I use the word we loosely, actually. Are well, you washed in the morning? You do you know what I mean? Are you having right. tea? Uh, yeah. I can share one tea bag. It's behind the scenes, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all the work mostly, I have to say, and I'll include you in this. It's all the work that women do that doesn't yeah. get noticed. Like, right. Nobody in my house goes, oh, mum, thanks for tidying up the thing. Because the laundry and all that stuff gets done. And then that is one thing. the bloke comes up and he yeah. puts a nail in the wall and hangs a picture on and goes, oh, God. What? That's actually the one thing I'm not miss going to doing is the laundry. My clothes, I don't have to wash anything. No. Maybe underwear. If I make it, maybe not to last few days, I'm going to have enough. You see, I never mind. I actually never mind doing... Uh, Audrey. All the backs, all the stuff that doesn't get noticed. The behind the scenes. No, I, re I really never ever. Oh, we could have. I don't mind if I'm really. I bored never mind, and, and I actually don't mind that nobody in my house thanks me for yeah. it because I love them and they love me, and I know that that's the way the world works. Yeah. But anyway, and there's no point. I'm not gonna. I'm too old to get all kind of like. Nobody yeah. thanked me for wiping the floor. I think if I was going to lose it, it'd be about something a bit more important. Yes. Choose your battles. Choose them wisely. Choose your battles, young man. I have such a nasty headache. I think because I woke just... up with Coolio's... Oh, he's right. so selfish. Oh. He, was having a, he was having a nightmare or something. Has he and he talks in his dream. But then when he does get up, he gets up... <laughs> Would you turn on the radio and it's really loud and you're trying to turn it down? Actually, but I was like this going. I think it was Nikki going, shut, shut up. No, she actually bounded out of the bed like this, boom, and was like, oh, for God's sake, goes over and starts picking up her dresses that were on the hammock. Oh, that's what she said. My dress is something. I'll take this cup because I don't like my tea very strong. What? Oh, There's sugar, rubbish. is there? They uh, put the bags in for us. Oh, that was nice of them. That's nice. Do we have any more bags? Do you I'm have... never going to get that L'Oreal contract now. <laughs> you won't? Because you I think there. I have it because it was all kind of over yeah. with them. I can't believe there was beers and like, no one drank them. <sighs> well, hey, hey, they were quite warm, weren't they? Yeah, they were really warm. Mm. I don't drink beer if I can avoid it. And we had no red wine either. It's terrible. Is that... Yeah, if there was red wine last night, I would have been all over it. I think Ulrika was. So I suppose you, she, you, she can close the shower anyway. Yeah, she's going in the shower, aren't she? <sighs> you know where this stuff is to clean it out? 
Um, is it in the toilet? I think it is, yeah. Okay. Do you want another coffee? Yeah, I really would. Coolio. Absolutely. In the same cap. Yeah, me too. Oh, it's hot in here, I can't breathe. You can just go, oi. Yeah, no. <laughs> oi. Yeah. Did you sleep yeah. all right? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think so. I've never slept this long in my life. Really? Well, till nine o'clock in the morning, that's unheard of. I mean, genuinely, really, properly unheard of. What the hell have I bought here? Morning cleanser, like I've ever used it. I bought loads of stuff thinking, <laughs> oh, you know, try and make it a nice little trip, you know, make it a... Yeah. Like I've ever used morning cleanser. Pretentious care. I wake up this morning with a really bad tummy. I have still got it now. I've had to take some tablets. You need a poo or you got your period? No, just like, not like gastro. Like, I think it might be like IBS, like just real, you know, bad tummy yeah. ache. He <laughs> <laughs> got up at five in the morning. I thought, oh God, it must be. I'm trying to work out now properly because you you and Josie and Mickey were talking then Mickey came to bed didn't she first no that was Nadia Nadia went and then myself and I think I think he got back into bed before two I think John did but it was after he was swimming but it was raining as well so maybe he just wanted to wake up Preston thank you that's all right All of a sudden, I've just ate like crisps. Biscuits. Yeah, you've stodged yourself up, haven't you? Yeah, and I think it's like my body's like. Have oh, a bit God. of roughage, have a few apples. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm going to do. Get going. <laughs> get, get your tummy, girl. Nine. So if somebody had a shower at 9.06, it would take the warm water out and fill up with cold water. 
So the, the, yeah. So you really had to start showering at quarter to ten. That means you have a full tank of hot water. And literally, they just said no. It was gets yours? You, it was, yours was after mine, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just had hot water all the time. I think they're being nice to us. Yeah, I think they kind of are. I could yeah. spit on the shower. Do you think and that's it goes, isn't it? It's the last yeah. one. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they're supposed to be. Oh, you don't need to do that this morning, babe. <laughs> Oh, darling, they won't be showing you. The weather's quite depressing. I think it's... I'm, I'm still confident that it's going to clear up today. It just has, it feels like it's sort of thinning out. Um, got a new job. When did you start? I started this morning. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Right. <laughs> Speak really good English. Eat again. Got nothing else to do. <laughs> when well, in doubt, eat. You should try for the dream shot again. Mm. See if you can get it down his throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's really creepy that task when he came alive. Yeah. But he did walk around rather camply, rather than, rather than a sinister. Yeah, way. it wasn't very menacing. Was no. it? <laughs> but as the music was more menacing. Yeah. Yeah, because was it like that kind of circus? Yeah, slowed down circus music. And it's walking like Tommy Cooper, like going. <laughs> yeah. It took them quite a while to work out it was an anagram. I really, I sort of assumed it must be. I think before mm. I even. It's the kind of thing you want to. Last time, me and Chantel had a task where they took us into a room, which is actually where the bedroom is now. Yeah. And we had kind of cigars and brandy, and yeah. it was all done out like a gentleman's club. Yeah. And there were oil paintings of her and I on the wall. Oh, brilliant. And I kept that, but I think I gave it to my brother. I think it's my bro hanging in my brother's house. I've got a big brother fruit machine. Really? With my voice on it and picture on it. Oh, of course, because they did that. So I think I remember they did a video, uh, and a board game of yeah. your year. That's what I think. Wow, that's cool. I saw one in a pub and I thought... ...boot machine without telling me. Yeah. And I rang out the company and said, Hello, my name is... I was on the first series, I'm on the machine, can I buy one? Um, and they go, well... ...one, but we, it can't pay out any money. And I said to them, yeah, thanks a lot for this, but I don't really want a machine that doesn't pay any money. Mm. I want it for fun and put money in it, comes yeah. out great. And they said, okay, if you have a picture with us in our fruit machine monthly magazine, we'll give you one. Cool. So I've got one occasionally if I'm drunk. I used to be or, or, or a horror to on the fruit machines when I was a, when I was a teenager. I used to absolutely <coughs> spend so much time doing that. Well, the good thing with this one is... They don't have them in America. They're America. They only have the, the uh, ones where you, the one-armed bandits. But I've learnt from the engineer of this company that when the machines are about to pay out... Yeah. ...because they react... In yeah, the I know all those What do they do? Well... When she went to lie in the hammock. Maybe she was restless. In the hammock right by the door where we've put our shoes. That's why Nikki shot up over her dresses then. Yeah. Um, all her dresses that she was looking at were she left them on the bed yesterday mm. and this morning she bounded up at the bed almost like what to get her dresses and was that because she was annoyed because her dresses were on the hammock i didn't know someone had slept there oh did josie lie on you at one point last night as well i don't think so 
I remember I was saying good night or or all right, sweetheart or something, and I went on oh, answer the back. And I that think was. She found it tough yesterday. Yeah, she did. She, she did. was telling me. I can't. I don't blame her. No. All her mates have gone. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and she got that glimpse of the outside world. She's forced to go back here and spend it with people like you. I know. <laughs> but do you know what I think the icing of the cake is? Sharing a bed with someone like you. <laughs> For me, that's so sickening. It's when you've got a pain in your tummy, Chantel. <laughs> but she said she felt much better last night at being able to talk about it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I, I feel for her. I mean, I know exactly what you know, like, even when you've been in, in surroundings where you're not kind of entirely happy, but you've sort of been with it for a long time, you kind of do have that missing it. Miss the people from... But if those are the people you've only had contact with... Oh, yeah, exclusively. ...for nearly three months. It's yeah. true. You would be, I said to her, you would be superhuman. You would be kind of like extraordinary, which she is anyway, but you know, absolutely highly unusual if you didn't feel some difference and didn't make some transitional change. Because she was so enthusiastic when we came in. And I thought, that's so sweet. I probably wouldn't be, I'd be, oh. I think well, she's you know what that was about John as well. That, that's there. the come down. Yeah. Of you've just won, oh my God, here's some more housemates. And then obviously you go, oh my God, I'm depressed. Uh, but also, she's missing him a Oh, lot. my God. And then yeah. don't forget, as I said to her, it's so And then everybody's talking him down. That's the so... I know. And I then, said to her, yeah. he's the one thing that's keeping her going. No, she goes, well, I don't know what's going on in the outside world. But, you know, when you feel love yeah. with somebody, that's keeping her going till the end. Everyone's going, he's Isn't no good John for you. Well, I think upset. I was I like, what, when he said what, she, what he was saying about her in the diary room. Which, Which is wrong. Know. All he's yeah. ever said is lovely thing. In fact, that's where he's opened his heart. He's in the diary nice room. Yeah. He never said it to her because he's too scared. He said he's yeah. in love with her. But in the they? diary room, how's your relationship? Yeah. Perfect. And he said that when um, on the way out, people would realise how real their relationship was when yeah. she leaves and stuff. Oh, Shanta, now I've got a pin in my tummy. Oh, no. Well, you're just due a poo. I probably am. I would think. I'm oh, sorry, I hope you haven't got caught it. You've given me something. <laughs> it's probably all that kissing we were doing last night. Yeah, night. exactly. We've got to be carried away with that. Sorry. <laughs> gonna wait first. This one. <laughs> Great, it's working. Hello. I'm knocking you all up. D437. Okay. <laughs> Is that another model? She no, she was uh, she was in the Truman Show. She was Truman's love. Oh yeah, okay. She's very pretty. Mm. I still think Demi Moore's. It's good about that though. And see it. See, although I'm not attracted to her, is Cheryl Cole. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I think, look at her, she's probably, she's you know, one yeah. of the most beautiful people, but I'm not attracted to her. Just, you just, because somebody you can just look at like a painting. Or yeah, a, my friend's working with her this week. I mean, if she was, if she had the body of, uh, if she was six foot or five foot eleven, she'd be, you know, unbelievable. No, I can't, I can't, but I'm so little.
<laughs> How so? <laughs> right, I'm going to shower now. What's that? No, I don't think so. Yeah, he ran in, he was like, I think it's time for a poo. And <laughs> he ran off. Oh, oh. oh get my costume on. I used to think one tart, she was so tart. Woman was she was so tart. Uh -huh. I had yes. this. I you had know who this. the best, at, my favourite of all time girl is? Is. Phoebe Cates in the 80s. Right, Phoebe Cates in sort of Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Gremlins era. You know the girl from yeah, Gremlins? Yeah. I, I think in Gremlins. Th yeah. Do you know who that is? Yeah, I know. Well, you know I, I, just don't remember, I just don't remember what oh, she looks man, she's like. So pretty. My favourite ever was Elizabeth Montgomery, uh, who was in Bewitched, who was the... Who was the Original Bewitched? Yeah. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Oh, she was hot. Yeah. She's, Who's Diane Carroll? Diane Carroll was, uh, kind of looked like Lena Horne a little bit. Who's that? <laughs> you don't know who Lena Horne is? Nice. Oh. You know who Lena Horne is? No. <laughs> Life's a game black woman that sang back in the day. What, back in what day? Every, 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 every black woman wanted to be Lena Horne. What's Lena the... And we're, that was... I did an episode of Martin. Remember when Martin had a TV show? Yeah. And he said... So good, right? He said, uh, he was talking to Pam. That's, said, uh, that's, who's that? That's, that's, uh, Chappelle, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> but Martin said, Martin said, uh... Oh, Martin is the, yeah, yeah, the, uh... He used to play Jerome. He used to play, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah it's so good. But he had this, uh... He had this one character named Jerome, and he was like, he said something, he said something to, to Pam, he was like, uh, damn, damn, baby, you look good, and she said, oh, thank you, Martin, he said, not you, jump. This one girl thought he yeah. was, he, he, the girl thought that he was talking yeah. to her, and she said, oh, thank you, Jerome, he said, not you, junk. <laughs> he said, I'm talking about Shiva, baby. Pam Grier was on the episode. I think I've seen every Martin Lawrence movie. I've got, like, my, my, one of my best friends is so obsessed. His cat's called Shiva in there. Huh? Don't yeah. explain why he, when he, he's like falls into a, a lake or something, yeah. doesn't he? He wakes up in medieval times. Yeah. And they never explain it. They never really explain it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Do you like Dave Ch See? You see how long ago I... Actually, I'd like to be an actor in CSI Vegas so I can live in Vegas all the time. 
<laughs> get three hundred thousand dollars an episode. That's what you'd like to do for a living. Yeah. And if just two years totally in Vegas and it be out my system. I'm always tempted every year I go there to just buy a, an apartment. Listen to me, bro. You can buy a house in Vegas for, for cheap, bro. So because you're on Big Brother, it's, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's impossible it's to be taken yeah. seriously. It's, what, it's one of the pitfalls. It, 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 in this country, definitely. Other countries, they're more nicer, the industry, but... Preston was a musician before, so he had a, a talent there, but if you come onto it... Uh, it's almost like having a criminal record. It opens some doors, but closes many more because people yeah, think... Yeah, if you try and use no. it as a platform... Let me tell you, no, 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 let me tell you something. If you can act, mm. and you're a good actor, it don't matter what you've done. All you got to do is get the right audition, get the right audition in the right yeah, place. Yeah, but, but, but to get the right audition, you send your CVs and you reels you, No, 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 you got to have the right agent. Yeah, it's hit. England's very different from the States. Very go and do it over there. Go, go live in LA for six months. Go to every dish, audition a day. Yeah, that's that's that so, is yeah. Listen, with your if you go to America mm. with your accent, bro, you get a you you get a role. You get a role. Just you know, save up six months with your accent and your your accent and your look. You get a role, bro. I'm telling you. Give yourself, give yourself. It's not even six months. Give yourself three. Give yourself ninety days. I bet you. I bet you get a role. Just get an agent over there. Yeah. You, you, you can do it. It's not. It's doable. It's very doable. I'd like to do. It. I'd act. I'd act. But sort of just like my job. I quite like what I do. I used to act when I was little. I was in. Oh yeah, I love doing. I love doing school plays. Oh no, I was in. I was in a film of Elizabeth Hurley when I was. Yeah, six. you said. And I was in the Muppet. I was in the Muppets like I was the only human, mm. on the Muppet Show, for a thing when I was really little. I was in Van der Volk. Band of Band of Volk. Oh yeah, that's the series. Oh, yeah. Hear yeah, a record she did. No, it's on Stiff Records. It's like she did a lot of cover of like kind of sort of shoe whoppy type songs. It's really good. We've been but... away for such a long time. That breakaway. Yeah, she's great. Great. They're, she was on Stiff Records, which is like. One of my favourite kind of punk. She's talented, bro. Yeah, kind of punk thing. She got You know, skill. she tried... Fake tan. Um, yeah. I did, yeah, but you, you told me you had some and you were willing to share it. <laughs> Oops, oh my god. Just, oh, that's very sexy to have a bath in. No, it's not. It's yeah. just a costume. Would you wear that on holiday or would you wear a bikini? I tell you what, I really don't, No, I don't think. This is like a full blown. Can you hear the one. crew running? Can you hear the crew all running here now? No, it's like thunder. I don't think this is sexy at all. I think it's like. Beautiful. You look no, I think like that, but I think if it was like, you know, if you get them shorter like that, mm -hmm. that's sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is. I've, oh, yeah, my mum's got one of them, babe. <laughs> oh my god, there's nothing of it at the back. Turn around. Yeah, but it's oh, not. Oh, like oh she's like, no. oh, there's nothing sexy about no, it's this. Not, I don't think it is. This no. is so plain. No. I at the don't back, think it is. nothing. Do you know what can know? It's not bad, you know, bad, like, it's just... No, 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 it's not. It's, it's like a costume. It's not lovely, yeah. It's not a speedo, obviously. No. I mean, if you swam competitively in that, you might find a bit... <laughs> I probably wouldn't have it on at the end of the road. For England in the Olympics. <laughs> With her breasts. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> what time is that? This is this new Brazilian one. It's called um, Radio. I can't remember. Radio. Okay. Whatever. It's quite. Special. I've always used um, Saint Tropez, but yeah, I, I do. just tried this one for a change. And only because it fitted in my. Bag. And uh, explain to me the uh, the procedure. Leave it on for six seven hours. Wash it off, or if, uh, leave it on. I don't know, I've read the instructions actually. Okay, so you just kind of leave it on? Yeah. Are you, are you and all... then I'll put moisturiser on all the time. I mean, you quite tan all the time, don't you? 
<clears throat> yeah, I, I used to have some beds, but I haven't. I don't do some beds anymore. When did you stop doing them? When the gym took the sun beds out. When was that? December. And you've been doing them all your life? Not all my life, no, no, no. Because your skin doesn't look like you, you've been, you're, you've been no, using sunbeds. I mean, I would go for sun beds like once in a while in the winter when I feel pale. And also I get eczema and I find it really helps with mm. skin to... before you get in the bath to get in the shower after the bath, yeah. what does that achieve? I've got a long day. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a super stressful day. <laughs> We're going to see how many showers I can have in one day. Oh God, you know what, yeah. single like if you got someone special or you just sort of I know single all right sing my definition of single is that yeah. you're not texting anyone you're not seeing like going out for dinner with anyone yes I am doing that that's you you get out for dinner with someone there is someone I've been texting and going on dates okay, with like so and that you sort of see and that someone. kind of stays over and stuff do you know what I mean yeah um yeah, but it's really, do you not know, think it's weird in relationships when you, like, in yourself, you go, oh, God, I've kind of got to define it now. Do you get, and, do you know, do you get my point? Yeah, totally. But it's very relaxed, and he's such a nice guy that there's kind of no pressure. Do you know what I mean? That's nice. Yeah, and I've not had that for a while. Do you I, want, like, a serious relationship or not? Uh, I think, ideally, I think to myself, oh, God, wouldn't it be amazing to be in, like, have that serious relationship? and to be in love with someone. Yeah. But I think from previous relationships, relationship, I've learned that, unfortunately, when that ends badly, people get hurt. That's the thing, isn't it? When you love someone, you open up yourself to get hurt, innit? And I, I think I never want to be as hurt as I was before. Yeah. And I'm sure you've experienced that recently, and I'm sure you understand what it's like, and it's almost like I felt like I failed and it was all my fault and do you know what I mean? There was a lot of regret and then I kind of went a bit crazy for a few months like going. Yeah, I was on the heartbreak diet. It works. It's awful. Yeah, but I, I, no matter what I did, it didn't make me feel happy. You don't, you just don't want to get out of bed, do you? Yeah, you don't. Yeah, I think it's like a depression. Yeah, you're sitting like at home like in the afternoon, in bed, in the and yeah, I just, I will do never, I will do everything I can. But the thing is, never yeah, but sometimes I think when you've got that logic, you won't meet anyone. You have to open yourself up to love. But it's no, true. I, mean, that's when you get I know. That's when you got to find somebody.
Whereas before, they text, oh, when's your day? Text back. Yeah, it's so, too gamey. It's too gamey. Over it. Over it. Do what you want to do yes. instinctively. And if, they, if they're playing games... And that's what I'm doing now. And that person's doing it back and it works. There's, yeah. an, even, there's an even balance of, like, you know, where well, you can't really speak the day after a date. Because you can. Well, I know. If you want to bring them, bring them. Yes. If you want to send a text say I'm thinking of you. Yes, exactly. Whereas the former friends are like, oh, it's only been a day. You'd be too eager. You look too keen. Yeah. I remember. But I am okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? My son said Good that morning. to me like a year ago. He was Hi. seeing some girl, or he was trying to get to see her, and he goes, Come on. Oh, you, you have to always um, find a girl. Um, you can't show them that you're too keen because then they'll, they won't like you, will they? And I yeah. thought, Oh my god, you're 14. And, that's and you were already starting to say that. Yeah. I mean, you really started. Who you were saying yesterday, the sis? Little bit. Yeah, 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 you know really what? Hard. Do you know why he's he was Do you know why we should we we should we cannot uh, surpass his rules? Because he's a rapper and his music goes out to our kids. So that's why your son can come home and say, I'm not gonna marry a girl that doesn't know, that I like more than that because they've had who who doesn't know Gangster's Paradise? Yeah, true. There you go. Yeah. So uh, I, I think, think it's more to do with that he's learned that So then I actually moved that It's so sensitive. Wow, your boobs are Show huge. me. Oh, I love this boob off. Show me, turn around. Look, I've got, um, honestly, there's no competition. <laughs> they are. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. There's the silver medal. <laughs> I get the baby prize. <laughs> Is there a double H? No, 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 there's a single H. There are two H. If I stand next to you, I feel flat to <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> what would you be like if you were running in a bikini? I would not run in a bikini. <laughs> that's a that's a cozy thing. Um, Eureka. That's a minute for me to get a minute for me to run. Never run. A red shower, like. Oh. But no, you're right, is that, and that's what I've learned this time is that when it feels like, just go with the flow and text and call. Sometimes I find it, like, even though I don't want to play games, I find sometimes it's hard not to. to not. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you end up like, I feel like I've ended up getting the mentality of a bloke. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, and it's almost like treating men can you came. I, I know. don't want to treat someone But man. for some strange reason, you can't help but acting that way and that's the end of yeah. what happening. And also like, you know when you meet someone you feel totally, you feel totally in love with them, like, and then you get hurt and you feel like that, I think I'm really like, I can meet someone full from them, but then be like, do you know what, this stops here. Yeah, before so it gets to yeah, and then I'm again. So now. You see, yeah, but that's, that's a wrong thing to do. No, but I can't help it. Yeah, I know, because it's when you learn to love and then you kind of program. do it. I was like that for like maybe four years, because I was so hurt. I was saying that literally for four years, just like meet people and go, get away. Well, that's what I've been like since. since and that's a dreadful day. thing to do because, yeah. it, you, it, A, it's rude, and B, you're not being true to yourself, and C, and you could be missing out on something. Yeah, that person could be the nicest person in the world because you're in that wrong. I would. My only advice to you would be is just probably just be single, be single by yourself for a while. I think like the. Person Do you know what I mean? Don't even go on dates for a while until you actually really want to. The thing is, I haven't. I really haven't. I think that's what you should do. Because mm. when you're in that frame of mind. It, it, it happens, it happens, and, and you have to break the cycle. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When was your last date? Preston. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I've had one, but I went out with St. Germain for like... Oh, six yes, of course. But he, like, I didn't go out with anyone. Like, after Preston, I went out with one bloke, mm -hmm. and like, he just told this massive story, so then I just got really put off by it. You, then, you, you get burnt a bit, don't you? Yeah, and then it went ages, then I went out with Germain for six months. I think that's the thing that you have to work with watch out for first and foremost, never mind if they're going to hurt you, is what are they after, what are their motives. Yeah, but you, you hate the ones that say, oh, I don't care what you do, oh, well, I'd, like, I'd still want to be with you even if you did this and even if you worked in... So the guy, the guy... Not, well, you, you don't need to say that. Yeah, you should Please need to don't say, say that. So the yeah. guy that you have met after Preston, yeah. what, can I ask him, what did he do, what was the He's just like, I think, I don't know, I think he just works...
few months after Preston, I thought, I don't want to be out in a restaurant. So, With another guy, of course, yeah, keep a bit low key. Yeah, I understand so that. I went to him, I said, let's go and get a takeaway. Went to a takeaway, Chinese, and the, this takeaway had got a massive glass front. Anyway, I was standing there ordering, and Anyway, not thinking anything of it. Great, yeah. I've been with Preston for like over a year and I, I hadn't experienced that side of being in the public eye. Yeah. And then next thing, it was in the papers, this picture of me and him kissing. He had a girlfriend. I didn't know nothing. He didn't even tell me he had a girlfriend. It was completely nasty. See, that would embarrass me and yeah. hurt me, so I'm sure. I, I can understand you were all to fight. And then I did that with him for ages. And then when I met Jermaine, I didn't even fancy him at all. But it was nice to meet someone that I didn't have to worry about that side of Because he was a very, very tough one, yeah. Yeah, like he wasn't obviously ever going to do anything like that. And then, um, That's almost what you have to do is, I remember someone saying that to me as well, that we should try and be with someone who's either all that in the same yeah, industry. But then, like, but you don't think it's really know? weird, though, just because of the job you do, that you have to overthink meeting people. Oh, listen, I, I've, Isn't done it, it, I've done it. I've done it. But you almost think, years, but you, you said it's it. quite arrogant to think or arrogant to say. To say. Who am I to think that yeah, I am someone? Yeah, that's it. You don't want to say. Guy did that to you. Yeah. You were justified in thinking it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Ulrika, what did your husband do for that one else? He's in advertising. Okay. And he didn't know who I was when I met him. Right, okay. So he had no idea who I was. Yeah. And then sort of... Did you live in the UK? No, in, in Sweden. Right. I thought they'd know you in Sweden. America. Yeah, but not like... Not like, like in the Sweden sort of celebrities, it's not... It's not really quite... Not as in your face is it not? as in here. Right. Well, they're obsessed with And yeah, there's here. also fewer people there, so there's kind of... They're not... They do... No, there, but it's probably like in Ireland, it's just like, yeah, do your job. Yeah, exactly. And, mm. and so he didn't know at all, so that was really refreshing. Yeah, definitely. But of course, then that comes to the But did you have to? But I, f I felt instinctively, I felt completely safe oh, really? with That's him. So nice. More than you've done other relationships. But he just wasn't. He had a Uh, yeah, that was sort of, and he wasn't intrigued by the life of celebrity or entertainment nice. in any way, shape, or form. What are those questions then? Like, is, uh, is there any well, questions that are like, like alarm bells, you know, always asking that? Well, you know, just people who are sort of maybe keen on, you know, say, do you get to go to the premieres and what sort yeah, of, that's oh, you know, right. what sort of, you know, what's that what sort of thing, what do you earn or anything like that? Mm. You know, you know, I mean, anything. Okay. So, do you have that point where you have to sit him down and go, well, look, this is my life? Well, actually, I thought, I don't think I ever... A little DVD. I didn't tell him. I think he Googled me. Oh, right. Yeah, I think that's what he said. I never really saw it. I think he Googled me. I sort of went, oh. Okay. Oh. You presented that here, just this won't work. Yes. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and then, and then, um, and then I sort of thought, but I didn't, I was kind of quite relaxed about it because I didn't think it was going to be a relationship, become a relationship, so... I How long were you together for your gauge? Two and a half years or something. I'd say five months. Oh, I love being engaged and married. Well, we weren't, yeah. I wasn't too fussed, understandably, about getting married a third time. So you've been married three times? Well, I've been married twice before this one, so I'm married now for the third time, yeah. Right. And I'd write it in the I'm married time. very, very young at the first time. Right. Age 20. And then there's the gentleman from the show you were hosting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was. 2003, yeah. See, I, I mean, I'm, in a way, because, like, so, like... Because that, that, all I think that is, is just kind of keeping the hope alive, you know? It's like, some people go, oh... Clean yourself for you. <laughs> now I'm cleaning my hope behind. I'll, you want me to do that one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at cleaning stuff. What cool stuff? I'm, I can clean anything. I told you I'm Black Guyver. <laughs> <laughs> I can do anything. Do you want it to get excited? Well, no, because it's not all about you, is it? It's a two-way thing. Mm -hmm. um, failure of a marriage is 
always a two-way thing. I mean, well, not always, but it, it, it's yeah. It's a, it's it a clash, it can, or it's a clash of two personalities. Even if it's nobody's fault, it's a clash of two personalities. Yeah. And to that end, you may not necessarily need to change. It's just that you were not with the person that's right for you. Do you see what I mean? So yeah. don't necessarily change, but you can maybe learn a few things like, oh, I was a bit too in your face, or I was a right. bit too obsessive, or a bit too anal, or I'm a bit mm. too this, that, and the other. But you shouldn't need to change, I don't think, to be in a relationship. I don't mean you should change who you are. No. Maybe the way you deal with situations. Yes, so definitely. That That's what I mean about learning. Yeah. So right, sort of going, and then right, take okay, to your next I need to know. But I think it just has to do with approach, and it has so much to do with the other person. Yeah. Because you can you can be what you think is considered to be perfect and behave, be behaving really well. And you could be with somebody who behaves cons consistently badly. So then it's like the change that you need to make is to go. I need to. I need to respect myself a bit more, or I need to not be with this person. But you and learn with my ex. Yeah, I have. We have children together, so course, yes. there's never really been. I mean, there's that period after immediately after a divorce, which is very difficult, and before the dust settles, and before everybody kind of feels they can settle down and know where. Got free. Everybody's where everybody stands. But I've never been one to sort of have bitterness or whatever else. Yeah. <coughs> I think the guy who um, uh, started up Fathers for Justice, I always remember him saying, never hate your ex-partner more than you love your children. Right. Did I say that right? Say that again. Do you hate him more than you love Beetlejuice? No. I love Beetlejuice. Yeah, so, 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 so then, so then. then. <laughs> no, it's just hard to your little six pack. <laughs> oh, sorry. I immediately looked down. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> your little six pack. It's so so basically, means. when you have, if you have children with somebody, yeah. you've got to get on with the dad. for a long time oh, yeah. ahead. Yeah. Certainly till they're 18, and it would be nice to think that even beyond that, you don't hate each other. Right. So don't bear that bitter, let, don't let the hate that you have for your partner or the bitterness or upset or pain that you have be so overbearing that if it affects child. the child. So or the dog. You, or the or dog. dog. <laughs> so what you've got to do what's right for the dog or you've got to do what's right for the child. Not your bitterness and your anger has to take a back seat. But that obviously takes a lot of maturity. <laughs> <laughs> you really, really, obviously, you have to mature. bite your tongue. You have to just bite your tongue, and you have to keep the focus is your children, and the focus is the goal. The goal is your children. at the poor kids there in the middle is already, yeah. you know either sad or torn because mummy and daddy aren't living together. I want, I want my daddy, yeah. And it's really hard. But that again is a two way thing, you know? Yeah. It's you know, a lot of a lot of dads don't get to see their kids <clears throat> as much as they should. So you never stop because kids have seen their dads. Never. Right. No. Never. Ever. That, that's actually a good It's not it's not my that's not my that's not my role, that's not my power. I don't have the power no. to do that. Well you could though, couldn't you? Oh you could. I mean there's there are a lot of women, maybe even men, but for the most part, children tend to, tend to, as a general rule, stay with their mother. So it's generally speaking. But a lot of women make it very difficult for their dads, for the dads to see that. That's just bitterness and anger. They're using them as a weapon. I think that's so wrong. But and it's so, so sad for the children. So hurt, yeah. those but but you're only so hurting the child, don't you, at the end of the day? And that that the, children, the children will work it out for themselves when they're older. You know, they may not understand it when they're younger, but they'll always learn and they'll resent. It's just not. You know, the thing is, what right do I have to take that away from my children? I exactly. don't. You've got to compromise. You've got to... You've what got would to you do, though, if you came home and found your husband in bed with your best friend? Would you not be so angry that you might just do that to hurt him? Well, I wouldn't, but I can understand. Would I can you see understand seriously? the initial... Well, you would. You'd be so no, angry. No, I'd want to hurt... Well, I, I would want to hurt... Him. I'd be angry with him, but I'd look at my child and think, well, that's your dad, and I can't so you be... you couldn't hurt him enough that hurt your child? No, because I, I love you my love child more than I hate yeah. my partner. I can understand the initial, some women's reaction would be... Yes! Oh. You're not seeing a cute... Oh, I know, and changing yeah. dates and just making it like... Awkward. Can you imagine as well, even if it isn't the dad's fault that the relationship breaks down? Yeah. 
So he's had a child, he loves his child, mm. he lives with his child, and one day the wife says, I don't want to live with you anymore, move out, right? So he moves out, he gets his kid taken away, he doesn't get to live, he doesn't get to wake up with his child anymore. Yeah. That, if I was a dad, would kill me. Yeah. That would kill me. That would be the end of me. I would never be the same again. Yeah. It would mm. damage me. So a lot of guys are just expected to accept that. Yeah. Yeah, it's They're okay. expected by society to Is accept that what Boris for Justice was doing when there were the yeah. costumes? Yeah. And do you think um, that from the, the, in courts today, they tend to all the kids go with the mothers because that's just it's what It's a standard happens. rule. There's no such thing as custody nowadays. It's just residency. So the child lives with the person who is best able to look after the child. And so if the dad is a top businessman and he's travelling all the time and the wife, uh, the mother is a housewife, Full-time she's mother. at home, she's being able yeah. to be at home, then it would natu- the child would naturally most likely, I should imagine, be going to the... Mum. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's but in a way, you know, it's weird because that's almost all of us saying that we are assuming that fathers aren't capable or as capable to look after children, no. which in many respects they aren't. They don't but do I the remember, little details. You know, growing you know. up, I don't know the same with you in Ireland, but my dad worked all the time yeah. with seven kids. You know, my dad, you know, probably... Something about my dad, I probably wouldn't remember all our birthdays, right? Yeah. But nonetheless, he still loves us all as much. Yeah, it's just your and mom works. Was my mum was always yeah. there. My dad probably couldn't change nappies. No. Like, but you know, he would try and feed if he could. But he could. But it doesn't mean that. That's also loves slightly you a different generation True. as well, isn't yeah. it? So yeah. now, nowadays, fathers are sort of expected, quite rightly, to, to have more. a little bit more input. Yeah. I mean, that's why. I... They'll just cut that bit. I expect them to do their share. If I'm carrying the child and if I'm getting, you know, I'm pushing myself through that. And your breasts are getting that, enormous. And it breaks my back yeah. and it, you know. It surprises me about you, is that, about you, is that you're <laughs> not bitter at all. And especially probably just when you sat there, I kind of realised about your private life, a lot of people knowing stuff. I. That, that would in a way maybe make you bitter towards religious, but it's actually not. And that's very refreshing. Well, I think I'm probably more bitter than you. Yeah. yeah. I am, aren't I? And you're like, with your, with your private life, a lot of people would know stuff about you, but yeah. you're not bitter at all that people know that. Do well, it's funny mean? because I always sort of like, oh, she get married again, or oh, she's in another relationship, whatever. So yeah. it makes it sound like I've been in a hundred relationships. I haven't been in very many relationships at all. It's just that they've been very prominent. Yeah. But for me, it's always been that, it's that like, hope springs eternal and it's kind of like you know you just have to hope and you have to wish having said that after my second divorce I didn't think I would ever be with anybody you're like that's it yeah but not in a bitter way I just felt that I would have my children that part of your life was over and my family life and then maybe I would see somebody but not be part of I would never bring those two worlds together yeah Mm -hmm. and I felt very content with that because my children are the most important thing and they're my life and so yeah. but I you know the, it's a funny thing that Sweden is probably one of the most egalitarian countries in the world it's very equal in Sweden when men and women are equal there's no kind of you know yeah, okay. and in Sweden when a couple separates the child is quite literally split in two the child will be spending one week with his mum and one week with his dad really? and funnily enough I don't agree with that because I, I think it messes. Right. I think it's disorientating for the a child. Routine. They need a routine, don't they? Yeah. And then, and it's nice. like, yeah, it's very, very. But yet, yet I know that it's unfair for one parent to not have access yeah. to the child as much. But I still feel that it doesn't mm. quite work out. I feel really, really sick. Do you? I think it's the heat in here. I think I need to go and get. Proper sick earlier, vomiting. I think I have to have a go and get. Guys, you know we're going to do the shopping budget today? Yeah. It works out just over £50 each. Oh. So I think we should get like... It's not a bad guy, it's a tiger. Mm. See, tattoos... I could never have a tattoo. I'd look ridiculous with a tattoo. I don't think it would. Oh, God, I don't have the, the, the kind of the trendiness to carry it off. Okay. And I'm like, what would I have? What, like, what can I put on me? Cleaning pie. Yeah. <laughs> Chantel. 
Maybe I'll oh, run here. Oh, here. <laughs> I always thought maybe I'd like something here. Yeah. I'd have to, if, I, I don't like tattoos on me. Yeah. But if I did ever have one, I'd have to, it'd have to be my child's name or some, or my mum or something. Beetle yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, I mean, you've got a bit of juice there, haven't you? Yeah, look. Aww. I just don't think, I mean, and even the tattoos and guys, I think it's got to be a certain guy that carries them off and you go, yeah, that yeah. kind of works. I used to hate tattoos. Yeah, you didn't realise for me that guy. No, I did. I never used to, I would never have gone out of bloke with loads of tattoos. Yeah. Like, Preston, are you not worried when you get older that if you're, I mean, like an 80 year old man? But you're going to see your skin's like gross and saggy then anyway. True. Uh, I don't know. And I think it's just that. If I want to. It's like a scar. It's like it's just a part of your life. It's yeah. It's the time of your life. And yeah. I think it's a story of that. And it's like I've got little one thing that I got here and there. Like it's not like I went out and got my arm done. Was that CB? Oh, T. Elvis. Taking care of business. It's like everyone else. I also like one maybe on, ah. on my wedding ring. Wedding finger. Yeah. She came to my 10th birthday party, like a birthday party, but she went, oh, Elvis has died. And I went, It's my birthday. <laughs> I didn't know who they were. I could get some fresh hair before I puke. I might start getting chipped in the shower. Mm. It's hot. It's the heat, to be honest. It would be lovely. I'd rather be a little bit cold in this house than hot because eight makes us tired. My eyes are so red. Yeah, I know, it's got, I look so horrendous. You Give me a would you please use your makeup? <laughs> <laughs> big, you're hurting Big Brother's eyes. And please sort out your hair, it's a token mess. It's lovely, Chantal. We cancelled live streaming because of you. <laughs> oh. Hello, thank you, girl. How are you? You look great. Thanks so much. Where's that little guy? Nicky Graham. Yeah. Hey. And you know, you know, you know the wood on the side of the bed. I have that long red mark. Yeah. <laughs> you are so strong when you're in that bed. Her feet were between my legs. <laughs> Brian, you're lucky. I haven't started cuddling with my feet and my legs yet. <laughs> and then you bounded up this morning going wild over your dresses on the hammock. No, I woke up and I looked in the hammock and I saw someone was in there. And then I saw my dresses screwed up on the floor and I was like, right! <laughs> That's the first thing I'm greeted to in the morning, right! <laughs> But I'm sorry because I did realise I was diagonal at one point. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I'm okay with it. Thank you. I like that. I like that. I'll get you back for that. No. It's still right there, but oh god, I was in trouble this morning. What's happened? I woke up the worst stomach I've been sick. Darling, why are you sleeping there? Well, I didn't want to keep waking you week up because I kept good. You keep thing. moving around and so. stuff. Yeah. But is that comfortable to you? Yeah, really comfortable. Oh, I love. I love. I love. You look Papa. like you got. Oh, Time to get home, Ash. <laughs> can't remember. Yeah. Is there someone in there with you? No, unfortunately no. Oh God, is that... uh, uh, Stop talking about it quick. She's coming in. You look sexy now, man. Midnight. I didn't, yeah, but I didn't sleep. I, no, I didn't sleep very well. Yeah. No, I didn't oh, I did. sleep. 
I set really well. Me too. Well. I've set like really well both nights. Yeah. Oh, I did it the first night, but I feel so much better. This is Big Brother. Oh. 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 For how sweet to collect new batteries. Oh, I thought I'd like to make sure that they change their batteries mm -hmm. and return no all the batteries. Really? Yeah. It's just like a big bundle of fun. Don't yeah. think like a total bundle of fun. <laughs> I love that. What's the bath of... like, babe? Oh, it's wicked. Yeah, it's really, I love it. Really. Did you go in it? Oh, yeah, you did just yeah. do it. Did you have a bath in your no. year? No. Uh, well, we did. It was just a normal one, though. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have a shower this morning. I'm going to have one of them tonight. Mm. Preston, we didn't have a bath, did we? No, we just had one shower. Do you remember? We had one shower in the bedroom. And we had the like, jacuzzi. Oh, yeah. Oh, the sauna. Yeah. Did you have a sauna? Yeah. yeah but yeah, I was worried to get in because it gives you spots, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, but it makes you feel awesome. Yeah, I love saunas. Okay. A little bit. I feel rested. I don't know. Maybe I'm just still going. Maybe you're still dreaming. Do you know? Maybe. Possibly. I mean. <sighs> I might be in a. Well, I don't remember. I think I'm going to wear something to cheer me up today. I might wear something blue and white. Ah! <laughs> My Are you cheapy from Topshop? Oh, I didn't even notice. I like this whole no seam thing. Yeah, do you know what? They're quite low, but they're quite in at the moment, those ones, those t shirts. So I can't wear one of these ones. Oh, you. Uh -huh. You couldn't wear that, my cosy. My baby I've got the same. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Yeah. See, I think you're skinnier than mine, but I find they're quite. I mean, you kind of. Yeah, it makes you look. A... Right. Do you know what? That's it. You're getting it today. <laughs> Nadia. That's a Nadia. No, I think it's me, guys. And it's well, a Preston. I haven't got mine, but I'm ju I'm, I'm mid dressing. Yeah. I'm 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 mid nudity. Yeah. I don't know what I could clip it to. So what would I do? Will I go this or will I go grey? I'm gonna go this. Go that. Oh, now I can, I'm gonna have to take mine out of my. Uh... Why? Are you gonna wear yours today? No, no, no. no. What to wear? What to wear? <laughs> it's true. It's like, what would I be happening today? Exactly. Yeah. Where are we going? <laughs> Picnic, dinner, lunch. You'll pick Preston. Huh? They took us out, like they hired out a restaurant. Yeah. A fun restaurant, Pizza Hut, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And then they took us out. Obviously, um, they, their production crew is the one that serves us. And you know, they oh, so there's no contact. Yeah. Exactly. And then That's almost contact. like the real world. On MTV, yeah, you can actually leave the, love the love. house. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. You leave. Oh, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? That We'd probably get in trouble. We'd get too drunk. And, oh, oh, and someone would run out. Yeah, probably Nikki. <laughs> in the bad. It matter. takes one person to ruin it for everyone. Exactly. What should I wear? What kind of mood are you in? Because I was in kind of a. I wanted someone to kind of brighten myself yeah. up. I felt a bit like. Ugh. Can you look through my clothes and tell me what's cool? Yes, yeah, so let's have a look. <laughs> um, so I can wear like a. No, just like wearing a white t-shirt, isn't it? White t-shirt would be nice. Is that a v-neck jumper? Yeah, but it's kind of grubby. I didn't wash anything before I come in. Yeah, but some of that, uh, that can kind of work because it's quite frayed. That's quite nice. Yeah. Uh, I actually ironed all my stuff. Oh, that's quite nice. That's, really, that's cool, this one, isn't it? That's really cool. I like that one. Yeah. What's that? No, I can't wear two Vs. No, but then maybe just wore that. Have you got, maybe, have you got a cardigan? Oh, I've got like a, a sort of sweatshirty type cardigan. Or I can wear a shirt with it. Yes, you could. It is kind of something that's really hard because you're thinking, what will I wear today? Because yeah. <laughs> when you're kind of at home, you can kind of you have the luxury of deciding what you want to wear. Yeah. No, I like that t-shirt. I like the colour detail of the collar. All right, maybe I'll try it on. I'm honest with you. I like that. Okay. That's a keeper. Thank you.
What's that key for? Oh, it's for Rika, Rika's thing. Oh, her bag. Yeah. Just saying, what a skank you are. I, I, felt, I heard when you came to bed, and then I heard you get up. Mm. And I thought, where's she going? And then I just went back. I, I sort of, I'm a really light sleeper, so it doesn't bother me. I'm always around light kids. Sleeper. I know. Yeah, I'll just get used to it a little bit. Do you oh. want tea or a coffee? I can get you a coffee, and you can just lie around and wake up. Oh, well, I'd love a coffee, thank you. Milk? Um, yes, please. Okay. Thanks. Sugar? Yes. Yeah. Milk? Well, there isn't any, but you'll have a sweetener. I oh, thanks, Erica. I can't think of what to wear. Uh, like I mean, I have to say, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a big dresser. At home, I just wear my comfortable clothes and my leggings and nothing sort of extraordinary. So, the whole idea of possibly thinking, having to think about what to wear. So, I mean, all that stuff. Thank you. What's that all about? Twelve pairs of shoes. Oh. Whoever haven't done their batteries, they're in the kitchen. Okay. He was, um, uh, I think I said it to him before, he was uh, even yeah. dreaming. Yeah. Was going to give it twice. Yeah, he was saying, Did you see all that? No. I heard, I heard the build up, and then the next thing he pushed something on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, love. Is that your lips up? I hope you wash them, babe. What? I hope you wash them, babe. Oh, absolutely. I'm about to get in the tub. You know what I do?
would you ever really know if people are out of their beds? No. The way the beds look. Some. Yeah. I look like I'm still in mine. You've got a throne, you're Queen Sheba. Because <laughs> yours is so high up. It's always you wake up and look at all of us. Yeah. You're like, oh, they're still here. Uh, Nikki looks like she is in yours, only because you look, you're out of it. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, Urika. Is she there? No, she's gone. His is a mess. <laughs> Is yeah, it's weird. Some of them look like people are in them. Yeah. My arms sore. What more did I ask? Groove now. Do you know? Yeah. I feel it, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Do you feel it? What does that mean, the tattoo on your back? Oh, just my name. Oh. Plain boring, yeah, nothing like. Uh, Cleopatra? Abby. Yeah, or Abby. Oh, like Abby. Braxton. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> I thought it would be a good idea, only because it was fashion with that time. Okay. When well, you say that, Naji, you make yourself sound 50. Do you think? Oh, I'm old fashioned. See, I'm shaking my bum like a mom. <laughs> when it was fashionable, I don't do I the pumping. I can't. This, the, I'll show you. This is where I am when I sleep, right? Look at this. <laughs> this is not a word of a lie, guys. <laughs> I'm literally here, right? She is like this. <laughs> she did say yes. she slept diagonally today. And I'm like this. In the wood. My head's on the wood like this. <laughs> Big brother, please turn the lights on. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, I'm not, it's ridiculous. She didn't say. She it's good, good, good training for having kids, I can tell you. They yeah. take up all the space. Greedy little buggers. I just realised I'm in here with all the kids on. So. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> it's well, a we, dream come true. Uh, not really, but <laughs> it's a pleasant enough to think about. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, you, know I mean? you just it's might get it. Enough. Actually, I must correct myself. It's pleasant me. enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that, darling. It could have been so much worse. Oh, tell me oh about my it. God. <laughs> my wedding ring. And she saw that when she looked at me. She didn't. Jesus Christ, darling. <laughs> oh, I just you look like you're on the, the, the sauce last so. night. Okay. You actually look like you're hungover. You probably got to the point now yeah, where you're kind of mentally, physically exhausted. Oh, well, she did like... It happens. I am. Um, yeah, that's what it is. I, I, I was thinking about you leaving last night. What are you, babe? Mm -hmm. so just... And I couldn't, I couldn't sleep there. I thought the walls were coming in at me. I think what you have is, is cabin fever. Yeah, I think I have. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. It's all right, mate. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. I, I think I need to be in comfies today. I don't feel in the mood for wearing anything kind of. Oh no, I never do. When have you ever worn anything? Thanks, Eureka. No, right. I really right. appreciate that. You're, you're, right. Right. you're, you're right. right. You're right. You're right. No, I know. My, I know. My hubby always says, go on, put Thank something you so nice much. on, put something tight on, or put something... And I'm there in sort of, Track like, bottom. trailer trash, I am. Aren't we all, <laughs> darling? No, you, you take great pride in what you are. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what, about oh. what I wear. <laughs> I, so yeah. I'm not going to deny that. I love to look nice, but I have less and less interest 
in in just wearing dolling or caring what I look like. Well, you're a mum. <laughs> but you're a mum. Do you mean? Like at home all the time yeah. doing stuff, you probably never get I the mean, opportunity. I mean, comfortable clothes. If I had to go into an office and you have to make an effort every yeah. day, like when you know when I used to have to, I guess that's kind of back in the fun, day. Fun, but it's also kind of <laughs> competitive. So if you're going out, would you show up? Yeah, I guess so. But in a very, I've always, if I've gone out, <clears throat> if I put some, if I wear something nice, I'll always have bedhead hair or sort of lazy makeup kind right. of thing. Very when was the last mm. time you got your hair, your makeup, and a gorgeous outfit? Nineteen <laughs> forty-two. I know. <laughs> Sorry, forty-five. That was mean. Um, uh, I don't know. To be honest, I guess on it. I mean, if you do a photo shoot or something, I yeah. guess people do that sort of Style thing. Style you. But I even hate that. Do you? Yeah. You really come out here so like. I hate it. I, I just can't bear all the fussing. I was always like it. T you know, doing photo shoots, the hours sitting in makeup and. For one picture. Sort of, yeah, stand still and it takes three hours. It's always like that, really. It's like a cliche. What? Like you've got it, and when you do that for a job, you just kind of hate it. Yeah. Mm. And then well, I just. Suddenly those that don't do it, so wish they could. Michael Jackson, I got Michael Jackson. My Michael Jackson fell asleep. I would rather idea of serve coffee sure, in Starbucks idea, being made 24 hours a day yeah. than do that every day. I think it's, yeah. I think for girls it's difficult. For yeah. guys, you know, having done bits and bobs over the years, it's very generic. Wear a shirt, wear a jeans, you know, a bit of powder, a bit of cover up, you're kind of done. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But for girls, it's yeah, the demand cool. is higher. Do you know what I mean? And girls in the industry kind of yeah. have to look a certain way and follow trends and, you know, your bag, but your that's shoes. That's why I've never, I, I think to fall into that yeah. would just be. I can't bear that when Cheryl Cole is kind of queen of that industry yeah. now. Now I can understand it's huge business. Oh, I mean, millions! It's a, it's a huge business, and I, I don't deny that. I love seeing people dressed up, looking gorgeous thing, go gorgeous things, and, and looking. I love that. I mean, I love seeing other people, but it doesn't faze me if I don't ever have to do it. But yeah. I was brought up a tomboy, so You're I was like kind of brought up by my dad. Yeah, I, I just, just it's just, I, I didn't wear a skirt. I don't think until I was about eighteen. I just kind of never. And again, I feel dressing up, I feel really self-conscious. Or wearing mm. anything short or tight or... I just doesn't even... Appeal. Not really. <laughs> so I sort of admire, you know, Mikosa's walking around in like 12-inch heels and I just think, wow, I could never do that. Mm. And I think, respect. <laughs> respect Respect. <laughs> As she probably looks at me and says, Oh, oh, tramp. She's let, no. herself, she's let herself go, hasn't she's she? She's let yeah. herself go. <laughs> That's such an insult. She's let I herself go a bit. I don't actually. I don't. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. No, 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 I'm I just joking. I you and I think I wish I could be as small as you are. Oh, really? Genuinely. Blind There's blind. an operation. Hey? He's seen the scars. Oh, I have seen the scars. I won't eat for a week. <laughs> I... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, too. Because it, to a certain extent, if you're a but certain size... But I don't think size, it has to do with... Oh, do you think it has to do with size? Yeah, I think to a certain extent, if you're a certain size, you look nice in a lot of things. Oh, yeah, different. Like, like, you know when you came in, you were ready to go. Yeah. 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 I would like that. Yeah. 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 Because you're not going to be able to do that. Because you know what, believe it or not, I was going to do that until these babies started growing. Yeah, I don't know. I can't understand it, but I was just left there last night. You know, it's just getting into the heart. Yeah, I don't know. I can't understand it, but I was just left there last night. And, like, the house never felt so... I wonder what it is. Do you know what I mean? Did you can you take something for it? Um. It's fine, I wouldn't do that. I'm completely fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's no effects to winning. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa. coughs> no. <laughs> Jesus. Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Yo. You're working on
when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, can you? <laughs> My mum's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> My girl's watching this. I would be in more trouble than you. Your mom won't slap you. I'll get slapped. <laughs> Is that somebody with the toilet? No, let's just water run this way. It's going to water drain in. Right, I'm getting in the shower. Yeah, me too. Let's <laughs> <laughs> take this time for you to get the hell. I gotta wait for a second though. I can't get. Stop. This is the winner. 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 This is is being sensibly that. You don't have to do anything he says. Take your clothes off. Is that in less than in two weeks? In two weeks, it's going to be over. Take your heads off her butt for a second. We're giving her advice. She's asking something. Actually, you're banned. Big Brother Five winner can't come to the convention. I'm playing girl. Is it'll be over in two weeks? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And just think, think about it. I know you. You don't, oh, yeah. she won't, you don't want to leave, do you? Oh, last night, yeah. But it wasn't the fact that John would, James or anything like that. Would you want to... Would you ever... ...house that would not survive if the wall <laughs> was moving and you're not... They do something like that, would you? <laughs> <laughs> They're getting nasty towards yeah. the end. <laughs> Which yeah. wall was it? We'd be sharing this. Two well, these two minutes. walls. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a healthy breakfast to counterbalance my unhealthy breakfast that I've already had. That's what I'm going to have, yeah. What's the difference between a smoothie maker and a blender? Oh, the smoothie maker just means it's got like a, a spout or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Can you sleep anywhere? Can you sleep on a train? Do you sleep on flights? Sleep top. I'm freezing now suddenly. It doesn't. Sorry. Gorgeous girl. I'm just going to see what I've got in there because I don't think um, I've got anything. Mad, really. I don't know where I put my fags that you gave me yesterday. Can I pinch one of these? No, definitely. Oh, definitely. Please, 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 I don't like this whole thing of putting it around my neck. Oh. It takes a bit of getting used to, doesn't it? Look, another plain top. 
Uh, Preston's got one. Thanks, love. Come out with you, actually, Jack. He's like... Yeah, I yeah, know. <laughs> More stuff to do, and you, take money you know, when once something. we all get to know each other really well. Because that's the thing. Once we're all like, you, you know, we'll be all be best friends. Before yeah. Too Can we your lighter, could you? Get your lighter.
Now, this always causes arguments, so I'm going to do it with other people. Otherwise, everyone butts in, shouts. I mean, yes, of course you can. We've got one hour. One hour? To do it. And one read. Just try right. Yeah. Should we do the booze You've got first? Writing. Should we do the we'll booze? We'll put that. Uh, we'll put it because they go in whatever's left. So yeah. maybe do allocate this for booze. Okay. If we do booze first, we just knock that 60, sixty-five pounds off. Okay. And do we have to do a cheap? No, really. So it's just wine, isn't it? Uh, does John? What does John drink? I don't see any. No, he's not talking to anyone at the moment. I, I Just told ignore him. I told the brother he's not. I would get <coughs> some rosé and <coughs> rosé and white. Do you think? Yeah, rosé, white, a, and a red. red yeah. Okay. Should we do? Uh, yeah, how so much? So how much have we got? Sixty-five. So we basically got three pound fifty. Yeah, yeah. Hang on a second. There is soup in here as well. Nice. Uh, so, rosé, they're about £3.50. A bottle, is that all? Or £3.29, yeah, so 65 quid, that's a lot. Let's do Why don't we just put... Ten bottles. Can we not put... Yeah, do you, or, or can we not just put uh, red wine, rosé and whatever, an assortment... Yeah, that's already crushed. It comes in the jar. Right. Yeah, we'll see, I don't think Let's they've do got this. that. Ten rose. I think you should put it here, Nick. Okay. I meant to be anal. Okay, I'll get that's a cloth. Cool. I tell you what, and write it as small as possible because we've got a okay. fit. Or do you want to? Yeah, no, that's fine. Write, read, and I'll write. Let me get a cloth. Oh, this is disgusting. Ten white. Ten red. So that makes thirty-five. Ten that rose. Makes ten. Can we afford that? Yeah, because it's only it's three pound uh, fifty. So that's thirty-five. There's three yeah. So do. Uh, Five. Six. Yeah. Six. Yeah, six. 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 And six. We still haven't done the maths on that. Yeah. So basically, say 18 times.
you still like you know got yeah, love no, for I each other. Yeah, no, I still love her. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to see. Because normally you get in in relationships, and a lot of the time, majority of the time, you want to speak to that person. Do you yeah. Know? No, I don't. I don't think I hate. I don't hate any of my any like ex girlfriends or anything. No, you still got on with them. Yeah. That's nice. Sorry to have another flag pressed. Of course it is. Sorry, love. I wish they'd give me roll-ups back, because I've been smoking roll-ups. They're so clean, aren't they? That you well, these are the same. Are they? All they are is tobacco. They're, really, they're just like pre-rolled roll-ups. Look, read, oh, right. read the sign. Oh, nice. But don't look at the picture at the back. Natural. What about that one picture? Do you know the one picture? And it's the guy with the most ridiculous moustache. <laughs> Five times like 50 is 20, yeah. yeah. So five. And what? We'll do four. Because we've gone, do over. Five. Look, look. we've gone over. We haven't. We've gone over. 20, 21 plus yeah. it's, it's 44. 17. Yeah, you're right. So six. Five, sorry. Five, yeah. Oh, it's not going well. Right, we'll get into a system in a minute. Right, and let's we put in brackets there what the total is. Three, no, we don't have okay. to. We have to write the price, but not the total. Okay. They can do that. Excellent. Three, t dry white wine is what? Uh, dry white wine. Sorry, sorry, we'll get over this. Three forty-nine. Three forty. It's so cheap. We didn't get a lamb. How many lagers do we need to get? Um, I think no, no Should one we should. get four? We've got some already. Yeah, we've got lagers. And they might provide... Right. He's got some. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Food. Now we're going to need sugar and things like that. Can we put milk as we do all the basics first, okay. and then we do luxuries or any additional things? Okay. Yeah. Is that a good idea? Don't you good. think that milk is something they will offer to us? No. No. Okay. Don't get anything standard. So I would like some full cream milk, full fat milk. Full fat milk. Four pints is one pound fifty-three. So we should do eight. Yeah. Eight pints. Two times. One pound fifty-three. So, so eight pints. Full fat milk, is yeah. it called? You better do a running total with this, otherwise. Yeah, you're good. Good. Uh, and so two times what? Was it? Two pounds, one pound fifty-three, three pounds and six pence. Goodbye. All right, we need butter, won't we, as well? Uh, well what about normal? Get semi-skim milk because people like semi-skim. Okay, we should get four pints of semi-skim milk. Definitely, yeah. Same, three pounds and six pence. Just one second, just yeah, one second. On. Three pound six. Yep. Okay, because I'm going to need to. Yeah, we're well, just to run total each one. Week. Oh, this is where it gets so, just so butter. Okay. Let's just get standard butter salted. Do we get two lots of that? Yeah. No, or three. I get. I'm going to get seven hundred and fifty. Okay. Because people make toast, don't yeah. they? Okay, butter salted. 50 grams of butter. It's 250 grams of butter. Yeah, so I got 750 okay, grams. Okay, brilliant. That's three. Three times. No, four. is that right? Yeah, yeah. Seven yeah, fifty, yeah. Yeah. And how much does that add up to? That is 94 times three. Th three is 12 is. Uh, uh, 12, 9 times 3 is... 288, is it 2,088? Is it? No, it's 2,078. 72, okay. Nine, oh, okay, sorry. Oh, 3 times six, 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Yep. 7. It's 18, it's 18, it's 18 p off 3 pounds. Because it's 94 p each. 2 pounds... It's, it's two, two pounds. No, no, not two too many voices. Two, two pounds. Two pounds. Eighty-two. Two eighty-two. Two eighty-two. Two eighty-two. 
I did have Hold the two. Look at that. Yes, please. No, but we have to. This is. We've only got a limited time. Sure. So butter. Okay. But I love you. Olive oil. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, one olive oil. One olive oil. <gasps> three. Three yeah. pounds twenty-four. Three pounds twenty-four. Thirty-four. Sorry. Thirty-four. 34. Olive oil. One litre. I think we need some vegetable oil as well, don't we? Or not? No, 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 please, because okay. we can't spare. We, if, okay. if we've got space at the end, but yeah. I think it's really. Now, some people mention ma margarine. Is that a common thing or is that just yeah. going to a quirky thing? No, me and Chantel, a lot of people don't. Okay, okay. Olive, olive spread. No, no, margarine she wants. We have margarine here. There's only vegetable oil, there's only, there's only olive spread or lard. Olive spread. Olive spread, yeah? You couldn't both come to the kitchen for a minute, could you please? Could you both come to the kitchen? Please? Yeah. Thank you. Shopping. Just stub it. No, you and John James should travel with us. Pounds forty. Two pounds forty. Yep. If I could ask for a bit of hush for a cup, just for one minute, I'm very sorry to take up your time. Okay. Um, and if the message could be passed on to the other housemates who aren't here, um, I'm having disputes with Big Brother. Um, what they are has nothing to do with you. But I'm uncomfortably not speaking to any of you. I'm not taking part in any house activities. So I want you to know that. So don't even ask to speak to me. Don't come to me, approach me and okay. say this, that and the other. Nothing at all. Nothing against any of you. All right. Entirely. But Big Brother, there's a dispute I got with him. Okay. So we will lots of it speak together. That'll be fine. Thanks a lot, kids. Okay. Or the Diet Cokes. If you think Is there anything you need from here before no, you start well, speaking? Um, if you don't take all my Diet Cokes that I got there, that'll be handy. And order a few more. We'll order a few Diet Cokes. So I'll leave it. But then... Um, you know, as long as enough diet coats, that's all you sure. order what you want. Okay. So I might have a bit of bits of food and all that sort of all thing. Right. Thank you. All right, here we go. Okay, right. What about jams and peanut butter? Yeah, and we can do that. <clears throat> Should we do a. We've got a few things left already. How many. Are people eating a lot of jam? Do you want to no. finish the cigarette? Yeah. Not now, but. Not now. Bread, bread's the most important okay. thing. We've got quite a lot of bread left already, but look, I like white bread. People so like I. brown bread as well, don't they? <laughs> I, like okay, we get I like granary, yeah. 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 Should we get some of that? Yeah. What have they got? Oh, it's not very much. It's quite a limited white loaf. Oh, that's very disappointing. Okay, should white we... White loaf, hang on a second, let me just... White loaf. That can't be all that it is for bread. Right, your big brother money, spend that. Let's go somewhere. Go to Jamaica. Mm. When I went with Chantel. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, Dan. Our taxi driver. Right, let's. This is bad for my back. Um, white loaf. I'm just trying to see if there's another choice around organic. You see here, they'll have all sorts. As well. We do need to get the basics, Nick. We need to get the bread.
I think it's 2088. Okay, you're right. It's just less of that other one. Yeah. This is... Let's get some water okay. on here, some squash. <laughs> yeah? I'll, I'll put drinks on one side. We've got bread. Um, we want to sugar, butter, sugar, butter, olive oil. <laughs> We're going to need things for cooking. We're going to need things like garlic, garlic and stuff. Yeah. Right. Right, let's go to. We'll go, Nick, do what you said, which is go from the list and tell me what what the categories are, and we'll choose from the categories. Okay, let's do herbs, herbs and spices. Oh yeah. Well. This was a source of great disagreement. This is the ah! Nikki comes to the diary room. Do it again, Nikki. I took her to Mexico for a holiday, I don't know why. Did you go to that Coco Bongo's? Uh, no, we went to a, like a, I can't remember where we, um, uh, at the town might be called San Miguel or something, we went to a tiny little town. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, um, I love travelling. Uh, I've been, I, oh, I'm quite lucky. So I've if, that's, if, if there's anything I'll spend my, my money on, it's travelling. Yeah, that's like me. Like mm. I, so I don't already Memories, do, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't already go out and buy clothes and that. I yeah, because stuff that, is like... Yeah. I'll work and work and work and work and work until I've got enough money to go, like... Oh, Damn, so I went like to Cancun before, so it's a bit yeah. too touristy. Am I right? The answer that says stupidity. It's like the worst thing. I can't get over the dirty shoes thing. I'm like, I think it's really clever. It's quite funny. It's the truth. Coolio. It's the truth, though. I was just talking to somebody about that right before I left home. I think me and a, fa me and a family member. No, nah. no. Nah. Unless she, unless she was cleaning up the yard, washing she her car. She had an excuse to have on dirty shoes. 
But if you met a random girl in a bar with no. your dirty shoes, hell no. Oh hell no. See that? From the knee down. <laughs> Not really. Next. <laughs> but this is so weird. Handmade. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. John is not talking to anyone. Did, were you told? Were you told that you shouldn't try and talk to him? What? Were you told that you shouldn't try and talk to John? Who's who the what? Wanda. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't try and talk to John because what? Because he's he's on some kind of strike. He's fighting with Big Brother. Oh, For what? Right. For um, what? I don't know what they've done to him or what they have not given him. So he's decided he's not going to talk to anyone. He's just going to be. Oh, Brian. Oh, it was, it was just him that John was ignoring, and Brian started to think that John fancied him. I was having like, sexual tension. Don't talk to him because you fancy him. <laughs> that but is. Because he's on a strike with Big Brother. Mm. Oh, that makes. <laughs> And yeah, said, maybe I should go on straight um, too. It's nothing personal. I don't think I'm I can stay quiet that long, brother. though. <laughs> so I'm not talking to anyone of you um, until Big Brother resolves whatever he wants Big Brother to resolve. Oh, that's why, because even last night with me, and because oh, I was thinking he wouldn't change from such a lovely man to kind of not talking just for yeah. no reason. Unless he fancied me. I said to him, <laughs> good morning this morning, and he's like... Yeah. I thought he was maybe homesick, but... Yeah, no. That's my I think they, they're holding something from him, or... Oh, is it cigars or cola? He's or got all his cigars, he's got all his cola, so I don't know why he's upset. No, but no. he's upset about something. Big brother, if you can hear me, just give him what he wants because I really miss him already. Maybe he fancies you, not me. <laughs> that's why he's, maybe he fancies me and you, that's why he's ignoring us and they're just jealous. Maybe he fancies us all, but can't decide. Wait, wait. Oh, babe, it's clearly who the winner, <laughs> it's it's clearly who the winner is here, so you two <laughs> should just leave. <laughs> I mean, I'm even touching his cup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they... Did you, did you eat? I'm drinking that now. I feel for him, though. Yeah. I wish That's I could do that if I don't get what I want. I salt. Uh, Throw a huge... Hey, this down. is your bed, right? Hmm? This is your bed, eh? Mm-hmm. We're not doing it in my bed, baby, are we? We're doing it in the living room. Wait, hey, look. Okay, come on. Huh? <laughs> Stop her. No, people want. no. I think we've got too much money. For people to... Yeah. But you can... Five dry red wines, five dry white ones, and five dry rosés. Rosés, good. I didn't see any lager for lager drinkers. No, there was actually loads of lager left. I don't think people are drinking much of it because there was loads left after last night. I need to find my comb, don't I? How are you going to... Oh, we can, you can keep the ends. I'm going to burn them. Because we've got lighters. Yeah. Yeah. But it's how are you going to take them out? Oh, with my fingers. I'm pretty good at it. I'll just... 
just like this. Okay. We'll do it one at a time. Yeah, one at a time. Big Brother, just give John what he wants. They won't even give me hangers to hang my clothes. I'm over here looking. I asked for him yesterday. You know, you know there's a mirror right in front of you. Yeah. And I was watching you open your tile and close it. So. No, no, actually, do, actually, open it a little wider, I'll show you what you did. <laughs> <laughs> this is Big Brother. Electricity for her appliances are now on and will remain on until 11.30. Sure. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I was so ill this morning, my clothes, eh? What happened? I wake up with a really bad tummy ache, really bad, and then I was sick. Let's try to blend, talk about I gave her food poisoning. No, I think it's just because I haven't ate properly in the last few weeks. I've only ate like really light food, and then coming in all and of a sudden, yeah, yeah, crisp biscuits, yeah, chili. Mm -hmm. But um, full loads better now. But it's oh, you know that horrible tummy ache, and you just don't know what to do. With what yourself. to do with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horrible. Was that like really early in the morning? At like half six, I woke up. Oh dear. Yeah, got up as well. Just you know, you just you're trying to like you're trying to fight it, and then you're just like you can't. You can't do it. Either. Well, how do you describe it? Dapper is it dapper? Mm. I don't know. That, if I was going to be complimentary of myself, I'd say dapper. I think it's just like I just like to be a bit to dress a bit smart. Oh. And I wear. I sometimes wear like I've got. I even brought in some like jogging bottom trousers and stuff, and. I'm trying to be a bit more. I used to like wear a suit every day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. I feel I, thinking about thinking about doing that now. It's kind of pretentious. <laughs> 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 no, I don't think it is. I think it's just an identity. Yeah. Uh, all my suits because I used to do gigs in suits. So they're all ruined. They've got like literally a, a suit jacket with big white sweat mark all around. <laughs> Yeah. Mine? Can't see why they wouldn't. Mm. But yeah, it's only natural. You shouldn't, you shouldn't feel bad for feeling it. Uh, 98p. Lettuce. Lettuce iceberg. Just one big brother. I feel really bad feeling like this. I miss the people that were in here. What would you say to me? Oh, right, get a life. Right. <laughs> okay, get a life. <laughs> Oh, 
pull yourself together. <laughs> Tough love. Do you get my point though? Yeah. You're like this in the bathroom now. <laughs> Preston and, and Chantel, don't get me wrong, but that's it. I yeah, but babe, don't get me wrong. At the same point, you're also sharing a bed with a complete stranger that you've just met. Who you? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's very really normal. I'm gonna pinch one of these. My hair is actually kind of gone the way I wanted it. Oh, oh that's that? nice. Nice. Beautiful. Are you leaving, Josie? You are. Okay, that's okay. Are you leaving. <laughs> That's okay, you can go. No, he's like, take care. <laughs> no. Every, everywhere Nadia has gone, I've gone uh, the other. Uh. <laughs> I feel threatened for my life. I can't be in the same room with such beauty, you're making me. <laughs> oh, she's so nice about me, isn't she? Uh. <laughs> last night and understandable I think it's just a case of all her friends and stuff have mm, kind of gone mm. and she's in here with people that she doesn't, no, know, doesn't no. know at all yeah. and we're coming in with all this more energy and mm. do you know what I mean you would feel a bit weird wouldn't you yeah you're like no I wouldn't <laughs> I think also because she hasn't actually enjoyed her winning you know well, because it was almost like you've won but it's kind of taken away from yeah, you yeah exactly so she hasn't had that yeah no, hasn't had her experience yet no she get it though when she leaves this time yeah you're gonna be so excited how do you think you're coping do you know what? Surprisingly, Nadia, it's the weirdest thing. Like, when I first came in, yeah. I, you, and like, I would say I've got a big personality. Mm. I actually had to sit back and think to myself, I don't think I can do this. Yeah. I seemed like Seculio, John, oh, I seemed yourself, yeah. Nikki, and I was thinking, I can't do it quite, quite calm. Huh? Yeah. Nikki? Yeah. Yeah. But I was thinking to myself, having watched all of you guys on telly, I was like, God, yeah, it's great to hang out with them, but living with them is a whole different thing. Yeah. And I didn't think I could cope. But then I woke up yesterday morning and I was like, actually, okay, yeah. people aren't what I thought they'd be. Mm. But I mean, it's still only day two, day three. Yes. And I think people have been holding back. Yeah, a little bit. Just making an effort to get to know each other, which is fine. That's which natural. Is good. Yeah. Because normally you'd be like, people would probably snap more. Yes. But at the same point, I'm also... But I think it will happen. Yeah, I mean, I, even like yesterday, they had said to me, and I said, I think you can see where people would argue. Who would? Like, I mean, yesterday, gentlemen, yourself and my cosy were having that uh, conversation. Yeah. I could see where you, what you wouldn't have done before, maybe were a bit more actually wise. Uh -huh. I thought you were quite tolerant, whereas before I thought... No. Yes, do you get my point? Yeah. And I could see that, I could see the likes of maybe John riling people up, maybe even Coolio. Mm. I could kind of see where it could go, do you know what I mean? I, mean, I think yesterday, what yourself and Mikosi was a fine example yeah. of you were like, right? Yes. And you, were you aware of that? I was, yeah. I was very much aware of that. I just, I think obviously I'm a little bit more diplomatic and I like to take people's view, but and I, I accept it, I accept it, I just don't. I, Absolutely. What's the word? You acknowledge I, it. Just, yeah. You, not, you hear it, but you don't have to take it in. No, it. no. But you can just listen. And be yes. Like, and that's it. Yeah. You're like, right, that's your opinion. Yeah. Doesn't make any effect to me. Yeah. And I think that's what I feel the strongest is actually. I don't have that sense of paranoia. You do? I don't. No, I mean, I, I don't. I found it quite weird. The only time I realise is when I'm going to go for a poo. Oh. And I go, ooh, right, yeah. A little bit, but apart from that, I, I'm like quite comfortable and mm. it's weird. I, I don't feel, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's just a stronger place and a more positive. But I have to say, between you and I and this, and the nation, mm. um, Coolio, I'm not sure, I'm not feeling him yet. So. Right, hold on, let me put this in the bin. Go on. I just don't know. I don't, maybe I'm not used to that type of people around me. But I must admit, 
I... Scary. Yeah, but I thought to myself... You've been polite. Yeah, but I thought to myself, with me, right, and him maybe looking at me and him being a rapper going, oh my God, the gay guy, la la la, right? Ah. That's what I thought straight away, but I must admit, he's really surprised me. Yeah. We had a conversation here about, you know, dirty trainers and laughing and joking, and even in the bedroom, I'm feeling more comfortable around him. Mm. He's actually not the big bad wolf that I thought Uh, he was. uh. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But I'm sure he has his opinions as well. Have you had any, one, any one-on-ones with him? You try. Yeah, but also, I mean, the thing is, I think you, you are trying, but also I think he would also know from you is that if he's going to bring it, you're like, I'm going to bring it back. I think he knows that. But I think you also would. Yeah. I know you would. <laughs> right. Do you know I what mean, I mean? It's a funny one because I think there's an element of sensitivity that one must have. Right. And I think he's been quite diplomatic about things and the way he sort of tried to approach me. Um, but it's funny that he's approaching me for something that is part of me but it doesn't reflect who I am. Right. And I don't understand that why immediately that is a type of conversation. Yeah, I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's a whole, a whole, a, you know, there's of a course. whole a lot of me. Yeah. And, uh, <sighs> I don't know, it's just really weird. It's just like, even the first night he said to me, oh, I need to have a chat with you. Oh, right. And do you know what I mean? Yeah, and were you in your mind thinking, oh, right, Okay, yeah. Yeah. why do I have to have why a chat? Why do we have to have a chat? Yeah, talk me, you know, call. This is me, yeah. end of story. Well, yeah, you know, I'm loud, you know. Uh, where do I come from, things like that. That would probably be best to ask first. Yes, exactly. And um, has he, when he said, we, we need to have a chat, has he said anything else about more about that, like? Oh, yeah, first night. And I was like, okay, yeah. I sort of brushed it off. But yesterday, I was here having a little shower. And it was kind of like fun. You know what I mean? But then you, you, you know yourself and you can... Oh, yeah, yeah. But Sorry. You know, there's a lot more, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to have a shower. (laughs) Okay, you go have a shower. I'm going to come in in 30 seconds. So you better quick. All right. In 30 seconds, I'm counting. (laughs) Right. Don't know what to do now. (laughs) I'm fast. (laughs) Prestene. I don't want the rough edges to ruin your hair. My hair is already ruined, don't worry about it. My hair is not long for this world. <laughs> My hair is headed to the afterlife. Just make it go straight up. Okay. Does that feel tight enough? Mm, you can make it tighter if you like. Okay. 
I'm not tender headed. All right. Do it every day, they give us something to do. Mm -hmm. And I'll be fresh. But if we do it every day, yeah. Because we keep burning it, exactly. the hair will so. get shorter and shorter. Yeah. We don't want that, do we? If one of us gets nominated, then we'll do it on that day. Which one, which one did you do? This one. Let me see. Oh, okay. My bad. Oh. Yeah, you're good. It's actually standing more erect than the rest. Yes, of it is. You know what you're doing over there? Too much. The one at the back? Mm hmm. So if you could make it a little longer. Okay. You know, by, you know. You I've must. made I've, I've made the last one a little longer. Okay, cool. By distributing the the braid itself. Yes, darling. I have to give you a go. So I still get my lap dance then. Yeah. She's standing on the How much? Three pounds, pounds twenty-eight. Pounds it's, it just really slowly kind of clips it, but with smoke. Right. But do you want turkey? No. no. I know, Kulia. Well, let's yeah, go back to that if we need to. Okay. Uh, vegetarian. Generally. So let's get corn. Okay. Some so of you do. Organic tooth, tofu. Okay, so you are a vegetarian. Vegetarian mince. Is that something that would be... That's corn that, that Chantal would definitely... Okay, like so shall I get her... It's a 350 oh, gram pack. And it's I'm for really a week. Easy. And she's going to share some of the veg with us. But yeah. Shall I get her four packs? Yeah, yeah I'll be finished that. Because I'll also... If, if, it's, if need be, I'm happy to eat that. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm we'll need to add really that four. I could do with eating less, actually, if I may. Trying to eat fruit. Two so pounds, eighty one. Have you ever seen that Amanda Iannucci sketch? Where that? It's a flight four. simulator. He's really having a flight tea simulator. And, and it starts to crash. Eight, nine, ten, 11, and it's to sort of see what everyone would do. If, it, if they were about to die, if that was their last moment, as they talk Need about, you know, these... Of vegetarian well, there's, there, there's a girl sausages. on the plane who always Will wanted to... Will she eat vegetarian cost sausages? Yeah. But, so. but, but not as much as she would eat the mince. I eat oh, I just think sausage. that's a bit of a waste. Yeah, don't worry about it. Should we just ask her, as opposed to wasting? Like, we just I, don't think she, I don't think she'd be Can I just say one thing? I love you very much, but with you talking... No, really, do you think... No. Are you, I, I don't mind if you can help no. constructively. Yeah, I think don't worry about that. But if you... Talking, I'm trying to add up, and yeah. I'm going to get yeah, this wrong, I, I and I'm going to be hammered. So I love contributions because I want to know what people want to eat. Mm. I'm just standing in extra, extra. <laughs> I might have another, another cigarette. Otherwise, if I mean, people can eat those. There's a lot of priority well. focus right? on okay. vegetarians. What about the non-vegetarians? Yeah, there's one vegetarian. As long as she's so got that. So it's one vegetarian. All of us are not are actually okay. not one vegetarians. So can we just? Now. Okay. Seriously. You know, it's all That's about being PC. PC, politically correct. I don't let it go. Yeah, you know when you say you rap by what bar, this bar, that Sixteens. Yeah, he used to do sixteens, he used to tell me. Okay, I think I need to stand up. I'm better off standing. Come on the chair. Sixteen what versus or did he freestyle? He, I think so. I'm not sure. So he he had like hair like he was like very curly. And but we never used to use extensions of his. He just used his own hair.
Well, I'll be on the road, and it, using my own hair, it'll be messed up in one day. Exactly. Mm. going to be as long as the rest of them. Where do you live? You live in London? Buckinghamshire. Where's that? 35 minutes from London. Oh, hell yeah. When I need my hair done, I'm going to call you. Okay. You got to make sure we exchange numbers before I leave. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where did I put the lighter? Seen it? No. <laughs> Somebody must have grabbed it. I don't like these jokes, man. You got my lighter? Yeah. Yeah, he got it. Oh, crap. Do you think she's okay, like, let me do something? Oh, you did one so much. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna. It's just like, we're out here. They're talking about veggies. Doing what you wanted, so I'm sure he knows. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't like something. <laughs> How? I don't know why, because we've got loads of money. It should just be, look, we need bread. But you know meals. what it is? And I understand. It's everyone else kind of. And you, when you're trying to add up. Yeah. And you're trying to talk out. Yeah. You can understand how people can go a bit crazy. Yeah, and it's like, can I have this? All I want is one thing. Can I? Can yeah. I yeah. Yeah, I know. I just don't want anything to do with it. So, do you see you can't wash them for two weeks? Oh, no, I can. I can wash them, yeah. But they're just. Like it just holds in a lot better at the moment, but when I wash it, it'll just I just have to like um t like twist it, and they'll go back to like this. Well, you always have to wear hair extensions. Always, I've got like ball patches and like a row, a row like that. Of ball. What about wigs? Oh, gee, I've worn wigs in the past, but it's just so hard. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm clipping them in and wigs all the time. Yeah, but these are a lot lighter on my hair because it's like not real hair and they're plaited, so there's no glue. Yeah. But um, like they're not ideal. You can only like, cause if you put hate on them, they'll just burn. Cause it's like plastic hair. It's not real. No, but um. How much are they? Like to have this done, it's five hundred and seven a. That's not bad. It's Is that what a discount for you or? No, that's that's the actual price. But to be honest, like the lady that does my real hair extensions, I could have like real hair, like real European hair, down to there for the same price, and that hair will last for four. Five and you can months. style it. And I can pull it, I can... And it's plastered in? Um, no, that's glued in, so it's a bit worse, and it's obviously heavier. So really, this is actually quite expensive for what it is, do you know what I mean? It's, just it's all obviously better for your hair. Yeah, it's just more the time that you're paying for to have these done, rather than the hair. But um, no, I couldn't be that much interested now, my hair's awful. Like, that's a piece of my hair there. That's your real hair? Yeah, and it's just like, see it's got bitty. How long is your real hair? Like, there, but the longest bit's probably here, that's underneath, but, like, they're all different lengths. Each little bit. Just me messed it up over the years, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Shame, but... Yeah, cause it's a shame I'm bald, but... Yeah, it's a shame I'm bald, I just but, have to you know, live with it, Brian. Life goes on. <laughs> I'm actually having an apple for breakfast. Really? Is that what you've had? No, I'm trying to be good. Yeah, I'm gonna. I might not eat today because my stomach ain't worried that I'll get. Is like, it getting better? Yeah, it's getting loads better, but it's still twinging. Have you don't... been to the toilet since it was sore? No, I've been sick. Vomiting? Yeah, but like Preston said, I pulled the trigger. So. Yeah. I don't know how to turn these off. I didn't know. I think they're just calling it off themselves. Right. It's like with the beard trimmer. No, don't do it. No. I like men with a bit of stubble. John's asleep. Don't know.
know. What do you think it is? Diet Coke? Cigars? Like that, like he was with you. Yeah. So whatever it was, must have happened last night. So I'm not sure. Not sure. Oh my god! I just noticed it. That's a big clan. Oh yeah. Oh my god, Preston was like, I'm glad that's not at the bottom of my bed. That little one over there, he's got a huge one. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Has it got a hatchet? <laughs> but look how big that one is. Yeah, it's huge, isn't it? I don't know what to wear today. Yeah, I, I wanted something kind of a bit more detailed because I was quite... I had stripes yesterday. Oh god, I had stripes yesterday, I should take I'm them off. I wear this, but... Oh, show us that. It's like a jumpsuit. Oh, like an all-in-one? Yeah, but... That's nice. On my side. We're going nowhere. Yeah. Right then. Yes, love. I think you're so funny. Oh. There's a lot of people say that. You are really witty. My, yeah, my, my, my friends are like, you're a bit annoying now, Brian, can you stop? I really do. Well, it's also because you, like, I, we don't know each other, so when you're getting to know people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you're friends though with people for years, you, you don't really see what, I mean, yeah. why you're friends with them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. How long do you think he can not stop talking for? He will go for as long as he gets what he wants. Do you know what's really nice about that? If that's not skin tight. Yeah. I like the fact that there's a bit of movement, you can see the design of the material. Do you like it? It's lovely. Thank you. It actually looks like a two-piece. Does it? It's not so much I'd usually wear, but I feel like... Relaxed in here. Yeah. It's daytime. Yeah, you're getting near 30, so... Yeah. Are you, you know, going to wear flippities? Gladiator wear sandals or a bit of a heel? I don't think I'm going to wear anything. Okay. Just wrong. Ooh. Bareback! Oh, bareback! <laughs> the term is barefoot! My feet are going to go on Ooh, you're playing with fire! Where'd you get it? Don't tell me, I'm going to guess. It's High Street. Yes. Oasis. No.